Hi everybody, I'm Maureen, a principal producer on Company of Heroes 3. Today I'm here to talk to you about the content in our multiplayer test. But before I dive into it, I want you to know that there is content for everyone. This isn't just a PvP experience. Players can also play solo versus AI or team up with their friends for a 2v2 comp stomp. Tactical pause will also be available if you're playing solo versus AI. Fans of the franchise will see two familiar armies in the Americans and the Germans, but they've both had major updates. They have new units, new teching options, and new veterancy systems. Combine this with new features such as field marshals and support centers, and players will find a lot of new ways to play. We are super excited for players to get their hands on our new battle group system, which is the evolution of the doctrines and commanders from Company of Heroes 1 and 2, but offers far more strategic choice than players have had in the past. In this build, there are four battle groups, two for each army. We're also excited for players to see new features such as vehicle side armor, which allows for deeper and more tactical vehicle gameplay. Also, players are gonna be able to see how height gameplay and breach will play out in multiplayer. Of course, this is all wrapped in the classic co-mechanics you know and love. You'll see the return of cover gameplay, combined arms, garrison combat, suppression, retreating, and more. Rest assured, we have a lot more to show you in 2022. We have new factions, new units, and new mechanics to come. Now we know players want to see Italian units in our game. While there aren't any in this build, we will certainly be showing off our Italian units in game next year. Jump into the multiplayer test, have fun, and don't forget to leave your feedback. With your help, we're making Company of Heroes the best game it can be.